Good afternoon everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84 and uh, I thought I'd appear in a video for one of my reappearances and we're going to have a quick look today at some fruits that I've um, harvested or had to pick in the garden or fallen off. Um, I did feature one the other day um, and what I'm looking at here is my Asian pears or Nashi pears variety Shinziki and also of interest some peaches that I've had to pick because they start to go off on my ornamental crimson bonfire peach. Now um, this is really growing for the flowers and the fabulous leaf colour, not for the fruits. It doesn't produce a peach of uh, a particularly tasty or sweet or juicy type it tends to be slightly sour and also because the fruits are so heavily hidden by the dense dark red foliage they don't tend to get the sun to them that peaches would on a normal uh, normal sized growing tree but nevertheless it's interesting they are considerably bigger than last year and to give you a comparison on sizes this is sort of a medium sized shop bought eating apple um, and if we compare that with my Asian pear this is small last year I had uh, a couple of very good Asian pears but I only had two fruits now unfortunately this year circumstances have worked against me with my Asian pears firstly I had to repot the plant in spring because it was um, it was very root bound and I didn't want to go to a bigger pot at that time so I root prunes the plant quite heavily so firstly there was a shock to the root system of the plant which wasn't ideal and secondly we then had this freak summer where we had extremely long periods extended periods of dry weather and very high temperatures and unfortunately back in June I didn't realise that the plant had got very dry in its pot which is obviously firstly a shock to the pruned system so it, it's, it had issues with leaf drop but secondly when I realised how dry it was and I watered it heavily it had about 12 or 15 fruits on it and unfortunately most of them split uh, badly um, all over the fruits which meant that they very quickly went off and I was left with only about five or six fruits. Now I looked at these a couple of days ago, I put them in bags to protect them from hopefully from birds and animals and I found that there I think there were four left about this size on and all four had dropped off in the bags so um, obviously I picked them and bought them inside and I've put them in the fridge so they might have lost some of their juiciness uh, the peaches I looked at yesterday uh, I had three or four and they're considerably bigger last year I had tiny little peaches so these are at least an edible size you can see the comparison um, but they're not soft um, I can't leave them to ripen up more on the kitchen worktop because they're going bad at the bottom. These are very prone to damage from a lot of rain um, and mildew. And of course, although we had an incredibly dry uh, July and August, nearly eight weeks without rain, which is unheard of for here, even in the southeast of the UK, we've had very heavy rain several times in the last week or so, and of course it's now causing this rot. So I've I had four on the tree, one of which was really badly attacked by slugs and wood lice and rotted away. So I just cut a bit off it, and I didn't bother featuring that. There's one still on the tree that's near the top that looks okay but it's smaller than these and I picked these two off because I could see that the they were starting to deteriorate so I thought I'd cut them in half and have a look um, they're not particularly good for eating fresh compared to what I call the proper cultivated peaches that are grown for that purpose but I believe they would be nice baked with some 
honey or syrup poured them and then baked in the oven for half an hour. I think that will soften them up and make them nice and sweet. But I'm going to cut them in half anyway so we can have a look on video and we will just see what the sugar content is on them. So I thought I'll do one of the Asian pears first. So I'm going to cut this in half, see what it looks like inside. For anybody interested. Okay. Very nice colour to it. And I have bought out my refractometer out this time because although it would have lost juiciness from being in the uh, fridge and possibly lost some flavour and sweetness, I think there might be enough juice here. It's easy to get the juice out. Let's see if I can get enough juice on here to get a reading. See what the sugar content's like on it. reading on that not particularly high sugar content or the bricks reading is between 12 and 13 so we'll taste it and see what it's like even despite being in the fridge I've got a feeling it's going to be very very pleasant oh, the other two I'll put back in the fridge they last for weeks in the fridge Asian pears I can't believe the Bricks reading's only 12, 12 and a half. That is absolutely delicious. Juicy, sweet. I can't really describe the taste of people who haven't had Asian pears because they don't taste like, mm, lovely. They do not taste like regular pears. any shape or form but they've got a lovely watery refreshing crispness to them so let's cut the uh, let's cut this in half one thing that's interesting about these is the coloration normally inside coloration it's fantastic you can see where it's starting to go bad at the top so I'm going to cut that off uh, that little piece out and then I'll just put these in the oven in a baking in a little baking dish with some honey on top bake them for a while and see what happens but I am going to try to get a sugar reading off them just to see if they've got any sugar content and I will also try and uh, I'll also try and get I'll take a little slither off them if I can to taste them but I don't want to waste them too much because I'm going to uh, see if I can get a reading not enough juice on there it's easier said than done sometimes to get enough juice out of these to actually get decent reading off these refractometers Let's see if that's better yeah, it's not enough of juice to get a clear reading on it I think I can see a line at about something like about 11 or 12 so not as sweet as the not as sweet as the um, Asian pears. Nevertheless, I'm going to try a little bit just to see. I cut the bit off that's bruised. I'm just going to cut a slice this off. It's hard. It's not soft like you expect a ripe peach to be. Yeah, a little bit quite firm, sour, not not oozing with that um, sweet juiciness you expect to get when you get a ripe peach or nectarine fresh off the tree. And I don't mean 
rubbish you get in the shops which is virtually inedible but nevertheless it's a fascinating colour it seems to be what I would term a white peach because it's got this white whitey green flesh not the yellow flesh you get on the on the golden peaches with this lovely sort of red coloration to the inside and it does actually separate from the stone not too it's quite easy considering it's not properly ripe but it would be very nice quickly baked in the oven so I'm going to do that later so anyway that was my crimson bonfire peach and a Shinziki Asian pear for anyone interested in those fruits. That's the colouration inside of the of the uh, crimson bonfire peach. As I said I, I would, I must add, it, again, it is purely an ornamental peach. So it, it, although it produces fruit of an edible size that you could consider edible, they're really ideal probably for cooking. Um, it's not grown for that purpose, it's grown for its flowers and leaves and that's what I bought it for and it's an ideal patio plant as it can be grown in a small container. I do have a donut peach nectarine plant growing slowly but it's not up to fruiting size yet so hopefully one day in the future I'll be able to feature excuse me, my own donut peaches but I'm going to slice this peach up now uh, ready for baking later and I'll... Uh, be interested to see what that tastes like, I'm sure it'll be quite nice. So thanks for watching that tasting video, those were homegrown fruits there, that's the Shinziki Asian or Nashi pear and the, um, and the Crimson Bonfire uh, ornamental peach. Thanks for watching, uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up, obviously share the video if you think anybody would be interested in those varieties, please subscribe to my channel. And remember to uh, click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.